It's a beautiful sunny day. This weekend is going to be gorgeous weather and Liam and I have birthdays to celebrate. So my choice for my birthday weekend is always help me plant. So I've got Ryan planting some of our cane fruit out that we have been meaning to plant for a while now. They've been in pots, but he's getting them in the ground and I am planting seeds. So I've got some happy mail from Mary and it has my pollinator garden kit. I cannot wait to grow this kit with Mary's heirloom seeds and be a part of helping pollinators all across the world. One of the things I've always had a passion about is pollinators. Since a very young age, I've been obsessed with butterflies and bees and I've enjoyed a great horticulture career involved with building one of the biggest pollinator gardens in the country and the largest glass enclosed conservatory for butterflies. And in that time, I had to do a lot of teaching and education and research. And I learned a lot about how any benefits there are to all the pollinators, not just the native ones, but the European honeybees as well. They all serve a purpose. And it's not just insects that are pollinators. We also try to provide a good habitat for the other pollinators that are often forgotten, like bats and birds and other insects like beetles. Let's face it, farmers would be nowhere if it weren't for the European honeybees because agriculture would fall into disrepair. We're not set up to pollinate the number of crops that we have planted out for the number of humans that we have. So in order for humans to thrive, we have to have agriculture and we have to have the European honeybees. And as much as I wish I could afford to plant nothing but native plants, we would not be able to provide enough food for our family if we had just native fruits and vegetables. So most of our fruits and vegetables are not native. And a lot of our ornamental plants that attract pollinators are not going to be native either. Even though we are huge proponents for native plants, there is a level that you have to maintain to be realistic in our current world environment. So I've got my notebook to record what seeds I'm sowing. I've got my seeds. I've got my seed tray. I got my extra soil. I am ready to plant. So I'm going to go through this garden kit, which is an excellent idea that Mary had to put together a kit for anybody wanting to start a pollinator garden. It's got everything you need from traditional butterfly garden mix. We've got French marigolds, borage, calendula, Thai holy basil, black oil sunflower, wild sunflower, lacy fascilia, I, I think that's how you pronounce that, black eyed Susan, and a big pack of zinnia mix. I am so excited. This is going to attract so many beautiful native and non-native pollinators to our garden. All right, I've got all the pollinators in and then I had some room to do some peppers on the end. I do have them all written down in my notebook, so the fact that I don't have labels won't come back to haunt me later. You see, I seeded pretty heavily on some of them, so we'll see. pollinator kit planted. We've got more tomatoes planted. I've got more peppers on this end of the tomato of the pollinators. My tomatoes are hardening off. You see I got them kind of shaded a little bit. I don't want them to get stressed out too much before I have to plant them. But they're doing great and loving the transition to outdoors. The new trays will have to come in here at night. We'll put on the light. We got two lights and a heating mat to keep them nice and warm because we're still going to have some nights in the 40s and 50s. So having a nice heat under them will help them germinate much better. That's basically how I started 
the other tray of tomatoes and really honestly they're ready to be potted up but I think we're gonna plant next week so I'm not gonna bother transitioning them to a four inch pot just to move them into the ground again so I think they'll survive another week in this tray just fine so I will continue giving updates on how these seeds grow how they germinate how they attract pollinators all season long. If you want to follow our channel, you'll get to see plenty more garden videos that involve lots of pollinator information. Hey, did you know that Mary's Heirloom Seed is a company that I support and I have an affiliate link with them. So if you want to order something from Mary's Heirloom Seed to get the best quality seeds you could possibly imagine, Plus, the most excellent customer service because she is always willing to help with anything that you have questions about. She will answer them right away. So check out Mary's Heirloom Seed. I'll leave a link down below. You can purchase your seeds from Mary using my link and it won't change the price at all. But we get a little bit from it. So every little bit counts, right? So order some Mary's Heirloom Seed today. Just subscribe to our channel and you'll get notifications for our videos in the future.